What's up guys, Patrick here, welcome back. And this question, this one's pretty unique because we haven't ran into a question like this where we're combining operations. Notice we have a subtraction here and then a multiplication. But luckily, the general steps for solving this type of question is the exact same as we've been dealing with before. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna factor everything. Make sure that everything is factored. So notice x plus four, that can't factor any further. This here, two x squared plus x minus six, this will factor into what? Uh, I think plus two minus three. So two x minus three times x plus two, that's what this factors into. Then up here, two x squared minus nine x minus five, that would factor you want to make sure you do the decomposition on the side and you're getting these yourself. I'm sort of doing uh, them uh, mentally. So this could be what? Minus five here and then plus one. So two X plus one times X minus five. And then over here, this factors into X minus five X plus two. And then we're going to be multiplying three X minus 12. We could take out a three from that. That'd be x minus four. And then this here factors into two x and then x. Um, minus four plus one. Like that. All right, so took everything and factored it. That's always the first step. So same as when we were multiplying when we were just multiplying and dividing, and then when we were just adding and subtracting. Then once everything is factored, you want to get your restrictions. So notice we're gonna have a bunch of restrictions here. So notice that the denominator can never be zero. So two X minus three cannot equal zero, which means X cannot equal positive three over two. That is one of the restrictions here. Here, notice x plus two can equal zero, which means x cannot equal negative two. X minus five cannot equal zero, which means x cannot equal positive five. Here, x plus two, we already took care of that here. Two x plus one cannot equal zero, which means x cannot equal negative one over two. And x minus four cannot equal zero. We did not take care of that, so x cannot equal positive four. So in this question, we actually have five restrictions. Now remember, we are uh, multiplying here. If this was dividing, we would have to get the restrictions from this numerator here. Because if you remember, when we were talking about dividing rational expressions, if you're dividing by a rational expression, the numerator and denominator cannot be zero, right? So we'd have to look at the factors in the numerator as well. But since we're multiplying, we only care about the uh, denominator. So thought I would make a mention of that. Okay, and then once you have your restrictions, third step is you wanna simplify. Now, because we're combining operations here, we got a subtraction, we got a multiplication, you wanna make sure with these types of questions, you're using bed mass. So what comes first, subtraction or multiplication? Well, multiplication comes before subtraction. So we're actually gonna to have to deal with this first. So we sort of cut this off, pretend this doesn't exist, and just pretend like we're multiplying two rational expressions. And when we're multiplying, we look for factors that can cancel out in both the numerator and the denominator. And we could sort of cross it. So notice x minus five cancels out. Two x plus one, two x plus one cancels out. And then this x minus four, this x minus four cancel out. So let me take this line away. What are we left with? We've got x plus four over 2x minus 3 times um, 
x plus 2. And then we're going to be subtracting, we're left with a 3 in the numerator, and then a x plus 2 in the denominator. And now it just becomes subtracting rational expressions. So lowest common denominator uh, is going to be 2x minus 3, x plus 2, like that. So you've got to multiply this by 2x minus 3, multiply the top by 2x minus 3. So we'll have x plus 4 minus 3 bracket 2x minus 3, like that. And then you just simply uh, simplify this. Uh, x minus 6x, that would give us negative 5x. And then uh, 4, uh, negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9, so 4 plus 9 gives us 13. That can't really simplify any further. You can't factor that. So 2x minus 3 times x plus 2. That there is the final answer. You could also take out a negative from the numerator. So you could write as negative bracket 5x minus 13. Or you could just keep it like that. But anyway, that's what it simplifies to. And those are the restrictions. So when you're combining operations, everything is the same. Just make sure you're following bed mass. Always doing the multiplication or division first. And then from that simplified rational expression, you do the addition or subtraction.